Hmm. We seem to have a new update. What do you think, Dennis? Stegosaur. Okay, understood. Hello. So, we ended up getting the balance patch for, like, Patchy, Alberta, Amaga, Daspleto, Alio, or, you know, all that good stuff, and everyone was feeling very underwhelmed by the patch after waiting for two months. Only for a couple of days later for them to then release Miragaya, which is pretty cool. I know quite a few people theorized about the balance patch being just a preload for Miragaya, but th then there's also like the Savannah changes and stuff like that. I did want to try it on the day of its release, but unfortunately I had an anniversary party to go to. And then by the time I got home, it, you know, y you saw what happened. The, the service just died because everyone was so excited to play Miragaya. You all know how it be. Like, you know, new dino releases, people hear about it. Nine million people flood, you know, flood every single server, and then the servers just explode. And then the Discord then explodes with people all asking the mods the same question. I decided to take my time in actually posting about it, mainly due to the fact that because it's so new, and it actually has brand new mechanics with it, well, you know, that also leads to a different kind of playstyle that hasn't been introduced to this game yet. But then also still giving you an option if you want to go for simpler playstyles with it also. But this video will not be just going over, you know, Miragaya. I'll go over a couple of the balance things and just some of my thoughts with it. But just to start off, I'm going to go over my first impressions with Miragaya just as a, you know, growing it as a baby. Then leading on to going over some of the abilities, followed by some deathmatch fights, and then some fights with some friends. And with that out of the way, I hope you all enjoy. Oh, so we have a new thing. Alright, so they brought this out. They, uh, Miragaya, oh my goodness. Nani? Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. Can't zoom in right to his face. It, yeah, this is... <laughs> Mate, it's like a box on legs. <laughs> Fight me! What is this? Okay, so stamina recovery, spikes damage, health recovery. Ooh. I'm guessing everyone's going spikes damage, so why not? God, what the hell do I name this thing? Shut up. I'm thinking of just calling it Bocky. Shut up. That's the name you're getting. Bocky. Yeah. Oh. Right then. Uh. I wish I could just skip. The tutorial at this stage, mate. <laughs> I've pretty much every single dino in the game grown, other than Dasp. Because fuck Dasp. Ooh, I like that. That's nice. God, it's so thick! <laughs> Jesus! Ooh, I like that animation for drinking. Oh my god, I love this running animation. It's so... Look at, the, look at the speed of the feet. <laughs> Mate, the sound! Oh. Oh, this is gonna take a while. But, I mean... The speed is not bad. I heard some people say it's faster than Stego, which is... a little scary in a way. But then again, this isn't really gonna be... A super offensive dino, so. Oh, we have quite a few slots open. Cool. So, paralysis attacking. Miragaya applies paralysis, which increases ability cooldowns up to 40% and reduces speed up to 20%. 
at full paralysis, attackers will be briefly paralyzed. Ooh. Lash. Oh! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Lash. Um, that's the thing that hits in front of you. It's like Anno's old uh, front swing ability. Now, oh, yeah. Replay is still broken. Oh, I hate that. I want it to be fixed. Yeah, Grung, this is gonna take a while. The change to Savannah kind of shifted, uh, shifted the population a little bit. Just a just a smidge. You know, it mainly concentrated it more around like Desolate Pass. You know, so uh, higher chance of finding people around Desolate Pass, Hot Springs, Hunter's Thicket. But, you know, that's not too far away from Crater either, is it? Oh, that is a pick, no. Oh. So, why don't I go over these hides real quick? So. Toxic barbs. In other words, when you deal damage, you'll deal toxin to enemies. Once enemies, you know, get hit with toxin, it basically lowers their maximum health up to 20%, as you can see right there. As for how fast you can stack toxin up on people, that's up to you. And then, it's basically the exact same thing for venomous spines, right? It, all your attacks do venom instead of toxin. Cool. Muddy Scales. This is actually an activatable ability. Well, I, I wanted to show this ability, but, uh, you know, Path of Titan spends 90% of the time raining, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, let me just read it out at least, and then you can see for yourself. <laughs> and then you can try it out for yourself, should I say. So, the, you know, these two, Toxic Barbs and Venomous Spines, I went over them earlier, they apply vec uh, Venom and Toxin to your attacks. Cool. Now, Muddy Scales. Activate to roll in dirt, covering yourself with mud. Gain up to 50% increased armor based on the amount of mud currently applied can activate multiple times to apply more mud. Mud will wash off in water or rain. Cannot be used in combat. Additionally, gain 50% increased paralysis damage while this hide is equipped. So, in other words, it, I, I think it's an amazing defense. You know, if you, if you really want to try and focus on try and paral uh, paralyzing something to run away, but also then, obviously, you get quite a lot of armor from it, which you, you can't say no to. That, that that sounds like really, really damn useful. Yeah, see, look at that. It, it, it's being washed off immediately because of the rain. It, so, as I said, perfect. Perfect timing for it to start raining as soon as I wanted to actually look at it, but... Oh well, caked on. Let's try it out, shall we? Alright. Let's have a look at uh, how this builds up then, shall we? With caked on. Okay, so it decreases quite fa- Ah, uh, yeah, it's still shit. It's, st it's still bad. It's still- it's actually useless. Caked on is a useless ability. Because by the time that the animation finishes... <laughs> it's all gone already. That is a... <laughs> oh, me. You're having a giraffe. That. Mud effects will persist. That needs to be at least... At least five times longer when wet. To even have a... to even have a chance of keeping it up, if anything. That needs at least five times longer. Yeah, when I went onto the deathmatch server earlier, um, 
This lash ability is really, really cool. Okay. And the tail barrage, it, it's weird, and the detonate is weird. It, this thing has a very strange play style for me, and strange playing, you know. It has a, an entire plan, or, you know, an idea you want to chase for that. Uh, actually doing well with it. And its whole thing is to kind of try and build up status, you know, whatever status effect uh, from dealing damage to whatever enemy you're fighting. And then you kind of just pop it for big damage uh, once you can see that they are, uh, you know, full of that effect. Because with Toxin, once you stack it up on something, you'll see they, they kind of turn into like a Dalmatian. Uh, they, they get like, uh, they look like they're covered in ink all over their body. It's like really dark black patches all over their body and they, that is to like uh, si signal that they're full of toxin and so when you use detonate on them after that it, it'll be unka uh, you know ugga bugger big damage scary time and it's, it's pretty cool but that you know gets rid of all the toxin and venom on the target that you hit but hey you know, all the better to just keep hitting them some more and do the same thing all over again. Tail swing, you know, we don't need to explain that. Uh, it's a charge up tail attack. Same as Stego, same as Kentro. Yeah, tail barrage. Uh, it does the same attack per, you know, same damage per hit as normal tail attack. Let me just cut you off right there, me. No, it doesn't. The uh, tail barrage per hit does 45 damage per hit and hits three times, equaling up to 135 damage if you hit all three. But it does the same amount of status buildup as the basic swing, whereas the basic swing only does 35 damage per hit, but has the offset chance that it is harder to try and juke or bait out, mainly due to it having a way less... You know, way shorter cooldown, so you can use it more often, and it's less baitable. And the fact that it also doesn't have linked cooldowns with most of Miragaya's other abilities, which is a big plus. You know, for, without further ado, let's carry on. Uh, but it does it three times, and very quickly. It can be kind of scary. The only stipulation for it, though, is a five-second cooldown. And it shares a cooldown with Lash as well, so they have linked cooldowns. So sadly, you won't be able to do the usual thing of using Lash and then following it up with a Tail Barrage right afterwards. Though, you can do that with the basic Tail Attack, which I kind of like. Uh, can, I, can I not be in a bush? Yeah, so you do Lash and then tail attack, and then run away. I ended up going on to Juniper to actually just test out some of the kit while, you know, it was going to take a while to grow it on officials, and why not at least have a look at it where I can. Though, I did suffer quite a bit from the ping of it being an American server. Either way, here's a couple of the fights. I hope you enjoy. Oh, also, I forgot to put this in. Um, anybody interested in the build, here it is. The only thing that changes is the tail barrage into normal tail attack every now and then. I hope you enjoy. Hmm. wonder if it's like fighting Anos now, though, because we have Toxin. Come on, follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Hmm. But now he's like maxed out on fucking toxin.
this this Anno only has one goal in mind, and that is bone break the world. Oh mate, you see that? Oh, what, what, oh, okay. I'll spit on you. Yeah, I guess spit on. <laughs> Oh, Ha! He spit on him! He spit on him! Ha! <laughs> oh, nice. Ah, oh, mate. I mean, it's a great group fighter, I like it. Feel more confident now, though. Oh, yeah, with your range advantage, yeah, I'm pretty sure you do. Hey, got him. I have no idea how much damage that does per hit. No idea. I should have hit replay. Yeah, it feels like you got to play pretty damn... Well, uh, I had to play super defensive. It's a stego. You don't chase a stego. Yeah. Either way, you know what I mean. Do it! Do it! Yeah! You got me! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh yeah, 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 go on, go on. Go on, yeah. Ah, oh, thanks. Matlas, okay. So that Rex pretty much killed me because I ran away from them and their group that chased me for way too long. And so now I'm gonna call this clip Luring the Desperate. The hell? Oh, I should do this. <laughs> Lol, chase me. Yeah, 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 there's a, there's a big herd of things over here. Uh, Miragayas for you to chew on. Come on. Do you want to chase me? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. You're not having a bone break on me, buddy. Oh no, no. Don't you want to follow me? Oh. I don't trust you. Just finish off at you. Oh, whoops, I accidentally killed the Dino. <laughs> They've just got this whole collection here of <laughs> of um <laughs> of Miragaya spikes. <laughs> oh what the hell? actually that's what I should be doing on ramp. I should I should be playing ramp and collecting spikes. Hmm. What should we kill? An eel? A rex? Oh my god, there's so many mirrors. There's so many mirrors. I think it's just gonna be the thing to... Oh, okay. Um... Ah, kill the eel!
Oh, whoops, sorry, Packy. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Spino, I know you're trying to help. Do that much, I think. If I tried, maybe. Ah! <laughs> oh. I have no idea whose side who is on, but uh, you know that was funny. <laughs> right, I'm gonna give Spit its own section dedicated in this video, just because it's one of the best meme abilities in the game. Short. Sure. It has a very, very, very useful actual use for it, you know, debuffing enemy attack damage by 15% per stack for 25 seconds. That is uh, a very powerful tool if you can coordinate with your, you know, group members or your friends. But I think we all know what it's actually used for, right? Even when it's not oh, useful. Oh, what are you doing? You think you could run? You're gonna get spit on. Spitting on your friends. <laughs> As disrespect. Spit. Or hell, even spitting in someone's fresh food. So yeah, spit, you know, you can mess up and waste it in a way by stacking it up two times too quickly, but outside of that, it's still one of the best, like, disrespectful abilities in the game, and I love it for that. It's almost like an emote in a way, though I'm sure we've all seen, you know, a group end up uh, attacking one person and then once they kill that one person, a mirror just walks over and just spits on the body. But yeah, spit. Great ability. If not for the utility, merely just for the aesthetic. Either way, next. So, how about we get on to mud build? Because that seems to be the most common thing I keep hearing about Mirigaya lately, is the full mud build. So first we have in the census tab is mud block, and that pretty much cuts any status effect that you would be hit with in half, pretty much. So not only are you gaining the insane amount of armor from being covered in mud, but then you're also gaining a heavy resistance to pretty much all the statuses, which is kind of insane, And but the only drawback to this is that you will not be able to actually deal any statuses to other people other than paralysis but that kind of comes yeah. more from them hitting you than you hitting them in which guess what mud also makes people get paralyzed faster in which if you end up tracking how many hits the person you are fighting has done to you in order to get paralyzed which i think is around like nine or ten hits then you can actually use that information to know when they're next going to get paralyzed, and then, you know, actually hit them with your hard-hitting ability. And since we're running with mud build, we won't have to worry about any toxin or venom, so we weren't going to need any, you know, charge tail or detonate. So I just went with tail barrage and basic swing. The tail barrage will give me ogre bug a big damage, and the basic tail swing is a very, you know a way shorter cooldown that I can use in between the big cooldowns such as lash and tail barrage. And now onto the meat and potatoes of the actual, you know, clip for the mud build, an actual fight. It's only really one fight, and it's against Morkrom's Aloe. I think Morkrom was craving to just collect more spike trophies since you know 
Spike trophies are quite rare to come by these days before the Merigaya release, since, you know, barely any people actually played Kentro or Marga for a while. It was funny though, in a way, that uh, how he asked me was in the most scary way possible from him, which was, hey, Hanya, you want to do a little salsa? <laughs> it was a fun fight. Whether I win or lose, you'll never know until you actually finish watching this clip, haha. -ha. And with that out of the way, I hope you all enjoy. Yeah, so I ended up getting absolutely destroyed. <laughs> then again, I mean, 40 to 45%? When I looked at the VOD afterwards, I'll take it for my first try. That patchy, and the fact that when he got paralyzed, the directional swing screwed me. <laughs> Either way, GG Morkrom. You can enjoy this from my perspective. He ended up asking, hey, do you want to try fighting an aloe? Uh, yeah, or, better yet, he just said, hey, Hunya, do you want to dance? <laughs> and I went, oh, uh, I mean, don't be disappointed in me when you absolutely destroy me. But hey, apparently I ended up getting him to like 40% on my first try with, uh, you know, actually fighting something with this on my own. I I'll take it. <laughs> this is a really good... Uh, you know, really, really defensive build. Stack up your mud. You take, like, loads of, uh, you know, uh, way less damage. If, if anyone tries to put any, like, effects on you, you heal them off, you know. <laughs> They're cut in half, cool. And then you're kind of not even thinking about uh, your statuses or anything like that. The only thing you're actually thinking about is how many bites it takes for someone to get paralyzed on you. And once you learn that, with this, how many bites it takes for someone to get paralyzed, you can use that to your advantage and actually get those good hits in. It's kind of like trying to bait out your own passive, in a way. The only problem is, you've kind of gotta do a little bit of mental gymnast uh, mental gymnastics in your head to know. So right before the Mirror Gaia release we of course had the balance patch which included buffs to Alberta, Patchy, Alio, a little one to Amaga, a nerf to Dasp, thank god, because I hate Dasp. So I'm sure we've all noticed the increase in the Patchy population when the balance patch ended up hitting, and then Mirigai released, so the patchy population is taking a short rest while they enjoy the excitement around the new shiny thing. But they will be back. So let's go over the patchy buff, shall we? So the buff back to its former glory of 2000 weight, down from 1600, along with the 20% extra headbutt damage that it received, along with then the 
increased uh, charge damage at max potential for that. Yeah, patchy groups are gonna be back in swing, in full, as soon as the hype for Miragaya dies down. I still don't feel that Patchy's old nerf was warranted still, seeing as the problem didn't really come from the stats on Patchy, it came from the problem of the servers combined with small playables, and Patchy was just like a Dragon Ball Z character teleporting everywhere. That's all I really have to say about Patchy. I like it. So let's continue with a couple of the fights I had with it. Let me just pause right there for a second, as, yeah, we have the Kentro TLC today, which, you know, it wasn't just Kentro that got some changes, it was also Paki, which is a little bit strange, uh, you know, as it was a way different timing compared to pretty much all of the other changes that Aldron probably have planned for us in the future. So they ended up nerfing Paki's turning, by like 25%, which means that Packies are going to have to use their air control a lot more. They ended up changing the stamina on Packy to like have the same amount of sprint time as Serato, so I guess Serato's will have an easier time catching Packies, which I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but I, I guess it'll depend. I saw something about charge cost being changed in the in the ability curves from the person who showed me a screenshot, and I don't know whether it's worse or better, or yeah, uh, you'll have to tell me. But then also a weird one, which was they nerfed the acceleration on Packy, which is a little strange, but it'll only really affect the Packies inside groups. Which, hey, that just pushes more people to just leave groups to get better use out of Lone Survivor. Woohoo! <laughs> and, of course, I know about the Kentro TLC. I still gotta try it myself, as I haven't from the time of, you know, voicing this right here. But either way, let's carry on with the backy clip. This was quite fun. So the context here is, I ended up seeing Morkrum's aloe get an attacked in Crater. I also ended up seeing some other Patches helping, helping him by fighting the group that was in Crater at the time. So I just joined the Patches to attack whatever is attacking them and whatever they're attacking. Woohoo! I hope you all enjoy the clip. Now, I had a feeling that I was just going to die immediately as soon as my screen went absolutely black from the hats covering it. But I think it was Saka. Now, did you know that you can use Patchy's alert call to bait someone into thinking you're going to charge at them? I would say best used if they're trying to chase one of your friends or just anyone else it really and are not really looking at you. They'll just hear that sound and immediately think that they're gonna get charged and just stop pursuing and try to dodge you. So I don't know if you noticed or if you remember the change they made to DASP with uh, changing the collision around the tail area, but that is something that they definitely need to fix for Suko.
so all I can really say for this clip is that me and my friends are just traveling around on different dinos and stuff like that, but Abyss ended up dying on Patchy, and so I just waystoned him back over, and then this happened. Oh shit, it's following. Yeah, Snake Gully. Yeah, fine, he didn't hit me. Oh, whoops, sorry about that. Man, I, I guess they weren't expecting this. Oh, I fail. <laughs> I'm stuck! Ooh. Let me just, uh, let's, let's push him to move a little bit, shall we? I'm still at half health right now. Yeah. Yeah. He did. Well, I guess trophy for you. Here you go. So let's have a look at some of my favorite changes in this patch. To Dusplito, my least favorite playable in this game. I hate it. Although, I do think that Alderon, as usual, went a little bit hard with the nerfs. They ended up improving the accuracy of the heavy bite and the piercing bite on Dusplito, so you can't drag it for two miles. But in typical Alderon fashion, I think they went a little heavy-handed with the nerfs to Dusplito. They already ended up fixing the accuracy of the attack, as I said, but then they ended up increasing the cooldown up to like 15 seconds, I'm pretty sure. And then on top of that again, they ended up nerfing the damage of heavy bite to not be much more than just the normal bite itself already. So what that means now, it's pushed even further into being a bone break bot like Serato was in the past, when Serato also had bone break. At least that's how I see it. Though it won't affect me too much, seeing as, yeah, I hate Dasplito and I refuse to grow it, I'm gonna keep this thing at just juvenile. This thing is never, ever going to even hit Adolescent. Not on my watch. Instead, I'm just going to get enough marks to get Bone Break and Turning Tail, and then you can basically just consider this a slow Raptor with Bone Break. Think about it. The only ones who can fix that are Alderaan. As I said before, this DASP is oh, not gonna hell. ever even hit Adolescent, so I'm not really too bothered about dying with it. Yeah. But I at least want to do some silly stuff with it. So you got enjoy one. this bright idea where Ow. we just decided to really annoy this Rex. <laughs> but I saw Sib was on Hatsigopteryx. And so I got a Fuck off, great Raz. idea. Yes, yes! Oh, dodge that! Dodge that! Yes! Get rid! 
But now, it's time for one of the funniest fails I have ever had in this game. This actually had me crying for about ten minutes. Me! Carry me. Carry me. Carry me? Oh, yeah, yeah you carry me. I, ho uh, I use my clamp while you're holding me. <laughs> and it's aerial. It's aerial clamp. Uh, uh, bone break, mate. Aerial, yeah. So, my idea here is that Sib ends up picking me up with Clamp, flies over to the Rex, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I bone break the Rex while still in Sib's mouth. And then she can also fly away with me still in her mouth, and I'm <laughs> safe then, yeah, but mate, leaving the amazing. Rex bone broken. Not really effective, but it, it, it should look badass as hell, right? With this being the first attempt of actually trying to do something like this, I kind of saw something similar from Indoraptoad. People go check out their channel. They make funny videos. Yeah, they ended up doing a Sarko using Clamp on an Anno to bone break other things. So, yes, I can use it. I just had this idea for hat scrubbing a baby Dasp. And once I saw that I could actually use my bone break attack, I got a little overexcited. And so here we are at the end. Due to this playable being very different in terms of its creation compared to pretty much all the other playables in the game, I didn't really want to rush it. Which is, yeah, it is what it is. But, if you did make it this far, I hope you enjoyed, for the most part. And lastly, I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye.